Um, so my um, kind of broad theme was just mental health, um, work, uh, working with special education students um, at a high school setting. So some of the standards I wanted to work on were uh, like just strategies to prevent or manage interpersonal conflicts without harming self or others. And uh, just demonstrating how to ask for assistance to enhance the health health of yourself or others. Um, so my uh, the app I have is called MindShift. Um, it really helps work with coping strategies for stress or anxiety. Um, I start kind of defining for the students what stress or anxiety are. Most of them probably already know and experience it a little bit. Um, they can read through these lists, um, Anxiety 101, which kind of gives them a brief thing, um, like definitions to, they can look over to see like, if they are actually feeling anxious, if what they're feeling is anxiety. Um, they give you situations. Um, so you can add a different situation. There's a bunch of different ones. You can add more. Um, they just kind of give you a step-by-step -step kind of walk through. So like coping with test anxiety can be a big one. Um, so you can kind of click through each of these. So there's introductions and then they'll actually bring up like research facts for you to read and everything to kind of reassure yourself. Um, you can then actually, after you complete the situations, you can go back and say like, you completed this coping with test anxiety before you had the test and then say you took the test, you can go back and like reflect on uh, like your situation. So let's say it like went pretty good. You can like revise your plans and recheck like what <laughs> symptoms you were feeling. Um, so another one, there's a lot of like these chill out tools. So if you are, um, do have a student that might be getting heightened emotionally, uh, there's a bunch of like relax that relaxation exercises, um, visualization. It's a lot of mindfulness stuff. Um, there's also just like inspirational quotes you can go through every day um, and just kind of flip through for the students. They can then a lot of these things, uh, all the situations, the activities, you can star at the bottom on most of them. Then they like save them to your accounts so you can go back find them more easily they're more available um, a lot of thinking right um, just readjusting the way a kid might be feeling about a situation um, helping them cope with that stress or anxiety uh, so I guess I just want them to like introduce them to the app introduce them to the concepts um, let them kind of explore and play around with it at first for a little bit. But then I kind of want them to go into like the my situations and find a situation that they had encountered that caused some stress or anxiety and have them uh, like work through that and then reflect on it would be kind of the goal. Um, and then just as closure, I'd want them to like come back, maybe talk through some strategies that worked for them after using the app, if it was helpful or not, um, whether or not they use some of the steps or the activities, just kind of making it um, useful for them, individualizing it in their own way. That's my answer.